Hello, good uh, evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this presentation. Okay, um, in this presentation, we want to look at um, question 11, up to, I think, question uh, 15. Okay, for vote 2022, GCE paper one. All right, let's look at the first question. Um, given that the vessel set has numbers from one to 10 and the A, so you have got A, uh, prime numbers in the inverse set, all right? So you agree with me that prime numbers are numbers that have two factors only, that's the number you're considering and the one. And in this case, two, three, five, seven are the only prime numbers, all right? So two, three, five, Seven. These are the prime numbers in the universal set, All right? Okay, then B, we're doing about multiples of three, all right? In this case, I've got three, six, and nine, all right? That's what we mean. So, A and B complement, what does it mean? So we, uh, we want any other element in the universal set apart from these, apart from two, three, five, seven, and nine, apart from these, all right? That's uh, two, three, Five, seven, and six. Yeah, six, nine. So we remain with one, four, eight, and ten. Uh, so this is the answer for that. A and B complement. We need that outside A and B, right? <clears throat> um, On the diagram in the answer space, draw the triangle Q, the image of P under a reflection in the middle line. Our line is Y is equal to negative eight. All right, so this is a very simple equation. So what we can do is to identify the coordinates for these points. For example, this point, this is one and three. So I've got uh, one comma three. Then the next one, the next one we can say maybe three comma zero. Yeah, three comma zero. This is followed by three comma three. So now, if Y is equal to negative X is your mirror line. These are standard equations, so it means we are talking about um, these, all right? This kind of a line going to the left hand side. The one you can even create a table of values and plot. So this is our mirror line. Now, we know that by deflection, the distance of the object from the, the mirror line and the distance of the image from the mirror line is the same. Now, instead of troubling yourself with these specific equations, so what we do is swap the coordinates first. You're going to have 3, 1, 0, 3, and 3, 3. But now you multiply throughout by negative because they're dealing with a negative. So it's negative, negative. This is uh, neutral, zero, I mean. So you have negative, negative, right? If it was y is equal to x, we'd have just swapped. Okay. So you plot, now got the three comma one, this, 
this point, 0, negative 3. This point, then negative 3, negative 3, this point. This is what we have. Okay. Uh, of course, you're supposed to use the ruler, which is exactly opposite to that. All right, and this is the Q. And they're done. They're done. As simple as that. Okay. A piece of wood measures 25 centimeters long. A, find the upper limit. So, I'm going to say upper limit is equal to dimension given or measurement. Plus absolute error. Now, how do we get absolute error for this one? So we are going to say this implies that your absolute error, error, is equal to half times the least unit of measure, which is the lamb. Now, for any whole number, the least unit of measurement is a one. So we'll say. Here, 25 is a whole number. It doesn't have a point for any whole number, all right? So this will give us 0 0.5. In other words, any whole number has got an absolute value, an absolute error of a 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So, okay. So this means that our upper limit is equal to the dimension given 25, all right? plus 0 0.5. This is 25.5 centimeters. This is your 25.5 centimeters. This is our upper limit. Number one. Number two. Um, okay. Let's not number them. Just say first option, uh, the first uh, part of the question, then lower limit. Lower limit is equal to dimension minus absolute error. So this will be equal to 25 minus 0 0.5. This will give us 24.5 centimeters. 24.5 centimeters. This is 25.5. Okay, that is how you get the, the, the upper limit and the lower limit. Okay, so let me erase this. Alright, so the part B of the question, let's find the percentage error. So percentage error is equal to absolute error, absolute error divided by true value. Okay.
All right, so this is true value times 100%. So our absolute error is a 0 0.5 and the true value is 25 times 100%. So 0 0.5 by 100 is 50%. Divided by 25, this will give us 2%. This is 2%, and we are good to 2%. The next one is uh, given these two functions, let's find the inverse. All right, to find the inverse of h acting on x. So we have h of x defined as 2x plus 3. So we can say h of x is defined as y. So you put y, 2x plus 3. This implies that if you want to rewrite this, you can say 2x plus 3 is equal to y. Now, the next step here is to solve for x. Always you solve for x. This implies that 2x will be equal to y minus 3. Now, to remain with x alone, we divide by 2, we divide by 2. x will be equal to y minus 3 over 2. And we are done. We just have to replace. Therefore, h inverse on x is equal to x minus 3 over 2. You put, while there is this, you put x. I hope that is fine. I hope that is OK. I hope that is OK. Uh, B. We put. 5 inside. After finding the inverse, you substitute. That's what the question is demanding. So this would be 5 minus 3 divided by 2. This is equal to 2 divided by 2, and the answer is 1. Okay, we're going to go to C. Let's find the composite function of h f of x. This regard, f is going into h. Now, before we proceed, in case you want to get in touch with us, you can contact us on 0978-56-58-76. This is Mr. Piri. If there's six, if there's six, if Number one, the second line is zero nine seven nine sixty seven thirty eight zero nine. This is it. The second one is for Mr. Bondo. All right, so you can contact us for the lessons for the GCE 2024, grade 9, and the 12, 2023, at only 500 kwacha in a group. We conduct live lessons, we present to you live, not recorded. All right, let's proceed. Uh, so we are saying to have the composite function, so f will go into g, all right? f will go into g, but to how? This is our f, it will go it will go into H to settle here. So we have we we'll say H of all this, we got two open brackets.
Open bracket x minus four plus three. So it distributes two x minus eight plus three. Two x minus five. This is our answer. All right. Go to the next question. Now, when dealing with the bearing, very important to get the information that is given. The diagram below, in the following diagram, so the PQ, uh, PQ and R are three points on level ground. The bearing of P from Q is 128. Angle P, Q, P, R is 72, and R is due, no, uh, due south of Q. All right, the data is given. So, you know that from here to there, it is 180 degrees. All right? So, you can find the difference. You can find this angle inside. By saying, one, uh, by saying 288, 228, sorry, minus 180 degrees, all right. So what do you get? Get eight, get four, this is 48, all right? I hope that is okay, but you can as well find this if you want. By saying 180 degrees minus 48 plus 72 degrees. Because the two, we have two angles given. Angles in a triangle will give us 180. Now, I'm doing that even before I look at the question. So, you have got 180 degrees minus 48 plus 72. You get 120 degrees. And when you subtract this, will give you 60 degrees. It means here there is 60 degrees. I hope that is fine. Then the next thing that you may need to consider is create parallel lines. So it's better you extend this down, also extend this downwards. Meaning therefore that you can check that if this is 60, it means here it is 60 degrees. All right? means this is the degrees. Again, here you can check. If this is 40, this is for, uh, 48 as well. All right? Yeah, I think for, with that information, you should be able to answer. The bearing of Q from P. So our starting point is P. So we'll go to, the, to P and the more we need to in a clockwise direction to the end to P. This one. So we want this. We want this. This is 48. But in terms of bearing, this is the same as 0, 4, 80 degrees. Uh, P from R. So you go to point R here. And the move in a proper direction to P. So that is the bearing that we want. And we can say 360 minus 60 degrees, which is inside. So we have got 300 degrees as our bearing. Okay. That is fine. Let me just repair my screen. All right. The line that uh, the line passes through this point, given that the gradient of AB is that, find the, the coordinates of B. 
So they are talking about gradient, and we know that gradient of line AB is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. But they're saying the gradient is what? Negative 3. Negative 3 is equal to, if we say this is our first point and this is our second point, y2 be y minus 5, x2 be 0 minus negative 2. So this implies that our negative 3 is equal to y minus 5 divided by 2 because 0 minus negative 2 is 2. So we can close multiply. So y minus 5 is equal to negative 6. We group the terms who have negative 6 plus 5. Therefore, y is equal to negative 1. But now the question is saying find the coordinates of b. So b of b is 0, comma negative 1. This is our b. Okay, the next one is in the diagram, a b is a straight line. Angle a b is uh, angle B C D is 90, as we can see. A B D is negative. <coughs> this <coughs> the term of that so that is 3 over 4. See that since it is outside here, so the turn of this angle inside. So it means it simply means we are saying turn. A, B, D is negative 3 over 4. Mean that the one that is outside, which is also the second quadrant. All right? It simply means, if I'm talking about the first quadrant here, it will represent my first quadrant. Tan, tan, G, B, C will be positive. All right now, if you follow Sokatoa, tan, so the tan of this one is opposite over adjacent. And in this case, we are saying 3, 4. All right? So this side we have 3, and there we have 4. Then the question is calculate the length of BD, this one. So we are going to get that by applying Pythagoras theorem. So this is it, BD squared. A and B can alternate. So you can say three squared plus four squared. BD squared is equal to nine plus 16. So BD squared, is equal to 25. If you square root, if you square root, BD will be equal to plus or minus 5. Now, this is thing about length, we discard the negative and just remain with the positive. So, BD is 5 centimeter. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and our new channel where we are uploading the videos. JM can also subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe for more videos and share. Okay, this will be very come back to next time. Shalom, shalom. Bye bye.